Hi, this is Justin with OpenVPN. In this video, we will launch an OpenVPN access server in Oracle Cloud using the Oracle Cloud Marketplace access server stack. We have done most of the work for you in Oracle Cloud. So I am logged in to the marketplace here and I will search OpenVPN access server. And we're going to launch the bring your own license or BYOL version. So I'll click on that. And then we want to click Get App to go ahead and start the process. Now I need to select an OCI region, an Oracle Cloud region, and I'm going to use US West and then sign in to the actual cloud environment. It's going to pick up my credentials. And um, I have an option here. I'm going to install the latest uh, stack available, which is 2.8.3. And I want to be in the test uh, compartment that I've created. And that's all that's needed to go ahead and start the process or to get into the uh, variable stage. Now, here we have to add a few, uh, fill out a few fields to uh, allow Terraform to do most of the work. I'm going to add a tag called ASDemo. That's the name tag. And then just a, an optional name. And then on the next page, here's where I can name the actual instance, and I want to name that as demo as well. And then I'm going to choose the 2.2 shape for the VM uh, size. For the application itself, I can add a username and password here that will be used to log into the actual admin UI of the, op of the OpenVPN access server. So I'm going to specify that here with the name of OpenVPN and then a password. As far as the network configuration, I want to use an existing virtual cloud network and it's called AS Test Network. And then of course we need to select a public subnet. Any VPN server needs access to the internet. So that compartment is correct. Now the final variable that I want to add is my public SSH key stream. Um, that's so that if I need to SSH into this instance, um, my private, my public key will already be available. So let's pull that up and I'll copy it. Oops. And that all's good, and we'll click next. And then just review the options. The name's correct. Terraform version is correct, that's good. Correct shape, I've, I've added a username and password. And then my key, okay. We're all set to create now. Now, let me go ahead and clear this out. Terraform's going to start up and configure the security groups, the instance itself, and do the work for you. And that's going to take a few minutes. So I will uh, pause the video and then we'll resume and I'll show you those logs. Be right back. Okay, that is just completing and there it goes. It turned to green and says succeeded. So the job is finished. The stack is created. Take a quick look at the logs here. It shows that Terraform is initializing this. And then it creates our default security groups for you, which include allowing um, 1194 on UDP, the web services on port 943, uh, and port 443, there it is. And then um, there's the 1194. Our basic groups, it also allows ICMP, of course, you could go in and change these security rules as you wish. And then at the end, it shows completed and displays the public URL of the admin UI. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and go to application information and here we have a button that will automatically launch the admin UI for you. Of course we get the warning uh, about a self-signed certificate. The access server always launches with self-signed certificates. I can click through that. You would want to replace that with your valid web certificate. If you have one, of course. 
And here we can log in with the credentials that we created during the, uh, the initialization phase. Click Agree at the End User License Agreement. And there we have it, the status overview, the VPN service is on. It's version 2.8.3, has the default of two VPN connections. Uh, we did not add a license key, which you can purchase at openvpn.net and then apply right here under activation. Just add the key here to activate more connections. And I guess now we should uh, go ahead and connect to this access server. So let's do that. Here, I'll just go to the client web service, which is just the, uh, the address itself, and log in with the same credentials. And then download a profile for this new access server. I'm going to keep that. Now I will add that profile into my VPN client here. Click the plus button and I can find it on my file system under down there it is and I'm gonna go ahead and enter the password here so that it will connect automatically and connect after import and add and there it is there's a connected client uh, to our brand new access server now to show a, a useful scenario I've gone ahead and created another instance within the same uh, compartment that will um, allow me, now that I'm connected as a client, to access resources on that, on that instance. And here it is here, it's in the AS test compartment also, and the private IP address is 192.168.0.11, and I'm just running a basic Nginx web server on that. But now that I'm connected to this access server, I should be able to access that web server on the private resource. And there it is, I replaced the, the standard web server page with uh, this text. So we have success, we connected, we're, we're accessing private Oracle Cloud resources via the access server, and the steps were just to launch an access server via the marketplace at Oracle Cloud have a separate instance within the same BNC, install a web server on that instance, and then connect to the access server as a client. And that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching.